to thank two extraordinary theater companies, the Process Theater in Atlanta, Georgia, who developed the script from its very first draft, and of course to the phenomenal team at Source in Washington, D.C., um, Jenny McConnell Frederick, producer, and Linda Lombardi, who directed the world premiere so beautifully. Um, these companies devote their time and their resources to the development of emerging playwrights, and the American theater community is greatly enriched by their efforts. Um, to the American Theater Critics Association, thank you so much, especially because the money I'm getting just came from you. Um, and I know that being a theater critic is not that much more well-paying a gig than being a theater artist. <laughs> So thank you, my, my mortgage will appreciate it. Um, the, uh, <laughs> the wonderful thing about a great critic is that they can serve as a herald to the world at large about why your theater community is so necessary for the survival of the populace. Um, in Atlanta, we have Kurt Holman and Andrew Alexander who not only challenge us to give everything we've got, but they challenge themselves to do the same because theater artists and theater critics, we're all in this together and we're all in for the same reason. Um, I was raised by storytellers. I'm the only one that was foolish enough to try to make a living at it. Um, my mother will give you full disclosure for a bottle of Moscato, but... <laughs> But my parents instilled in me the belief that every story, every person has a story worth telling and a story worth hearing. And it's probably not a uniquely Southern thing, but the, the stories in the South are just really good. <laughs> so that's where I make my career and my life. Um, if, if you don't know the names of three Atlanta playwrights, then you are doing yourself a disservice because we're really damn good at our jobs and our shows make money. Um, I am happy to be your first one if you don't have one already. Lori <laughs> Gunderson is here. We still claim her even though she left us for godless San Francisco. <laughs> that just leaves you with one playwright that you've got to learn from Atlanta. Tyler Perry doesn't count. That man does not need your help. <laughs> I followed my dream, and right now I'm surrounded by all of these other people who are following their dream, and it's heavy and amazing, and it is not brave. It's just stubborn. Um, what's brave is being a director like Shannon Eubanks, who, do, who will attach her professional reputation to an untested work, or an actor like Joe Howarth, who's done that 11 times. Um, and every time comes back knowing we're going to create something beautiful. It's really brave to take that on as an artist. It's really, really brave to marry someone doing that. <laughs> My husband pays the bills and comes to shitty workshops of first drafts and <laughs> comes to the production six times and forces all of his friends to come and we don't give him discounts. <laughs> Jobs, like you guys. <laughs> and that's brave, and we do it because we share a belief that the right story told to the right people at the right time can change the world. And he is willing to bet his life on my ability to do that if I keep working. Perfect Arrangement is his favorite play, and so I'm just going to keep writing for him because it's extraordinary to know that someone believes in you that much. If you want to know why I wrote a play about why marriage for all matters, it's because of the extraordinary man I'm married to. This is not because of my tenacity, it's because of his. Thank you. Woo!